the right YouTubers. I'm uh, doing a quick vid, uh, what's on my desk and also I'm doing a little bit of a tutorial. So if you stick around on this video you'll see it at the end. So yeah, here it is Van Hammer. The Vindicator has arrived safely. I shall be uh, starting this soon once I've uh, completed um, the Vanguard commission I'm currently doing. As you can see it's all in one piece but other than just uh, one of the uh, hatches has come off but I can sort that out, that's no problem at all. A uh, serious amount of uh, magnetization going on here bud. Uh, loads of options for annex. I think that goes on there like that. That's magnetized anyway so that'll pop on there. So yeah, should be starting on that soon. Annex. I need to know exactly, bud, how you want this painting. Um, so be specific when you let me know, bud. And then uh, in about a week I shall be starting that. I've also been doing some uh, mad building in ready for April. Uh, I've done a 10 man tactical squad. And of course I've done this beast as well. Terminus Pattern Land Raider. I uh, built it yesterday, uh, I've just got some green stuff work to do on it because you know me guys, I like to add a few bits and I've got some Skyball miniatures um, detailing, let's also, hang on, let's take that off let's alter this so we can have a closer look there you go, one there and one there and of course you have the side ones here and I know that one looks a mess but I'll explain that in a minute and let's see the one now, I noticed when I was uh, starting to put these on the model, as you can see the thickness of that uh, moulding there, and then you move over and look at the thickness of that moulding there, there was a big ass difference in it, which is a right pan in the arse. So now I've had to uh, put a green stuff spacer behind it, and then what I shall do, get another few hours to go off, and then I shall fill these cracks in here with green stuff, so that then will look the same thickness as this side, and of course fill any gaps in there as well. I don't think there's any I have to worry about too much along the sides of there, but I might well put some green stuff in. I love this tank, it's for my apocalypse game in April. Titan killer. Awesome job. Okay then guys, let's move on to the tutorial. Okay guys, basically I'm just going to go do a quick uh, tutorial on how I completed the power swords on these marines. Um, a couple of you guys on YouTube have asked me how I uh, did it. Let's see if I can get a bit closer with this camera set up. It's taken me ages to get this set up correct. There we go. Hold on. Go on. Focus, please. There we go. I don't go any closer, guys, because uh, it's taken me ages to get it to work to this level as it is with my camera. I'm going to have to experiment a bit more with the setup, but nonetheless. So, away we go guys. Okay then, so, like I said, the uh, f the order of the colours I'll be using is firstly, um, game colour dark green as the base coat. Then I'll be adding some game colour foul green. Okay, I think that's in shot. And then there will be a... a Fluo green, which is a very uh, fluorescent looking colour, and then of course it'll be a, a small mix then of fluo green and dead white, followed by what did I do at this point? Uh, yeah, uh, a s oh yeah, and then uh, sorry guys, yeah, it'd be dead white again for the final detail, the uh, freehand swirly bit on the sword, then a satin varnish followed by a light wash of black green so here we go guys let's see how it goes okay as you can see I put a, a little bit of fluo green uh, no sorry uh, dark green on the, my little palette here as you can see the game colour is quite um, nicely mixed so runny so to speak so if I just get this in shot properly because it's uh this is a, a first for me trying to paint on camera without banging my head on the uh, 
tripod as you can see it's actually quite a weak colour so it will take a couple of coats I'm going to try and remember my position in here with the and for some reason this morning my hands are shaking typical right, so I'll give that a couple of seconds let it dry and I'll come back when that's been completed okay so I've put a bit of uh, foul green now on my uh, palette and this bit is really quite liberal the uh, previous coat's pretty much dry now I'm uh, using an old brush for this part because it really is quite level hopefully this is in focus so what I'm going to do now is pretty much like this I'm taking a bit of the paint off my brush now because I want it to fade a little excuse me a minute Let's take a little bit more paint off my brush put it back on yeah. Uh, it looks a little bit rough, but these are the early stages. Trying to do it on camera, obviously, it's not going to uh, be as awesome, but we'll see. So that's drying, literally, as I'm doing it now. I'm going to keep going over that bit there to blend it in a little bit because it's got a little bit blotchy there. That's no problem. So that's what we got so far. Let's see if I can bring the camera in a little bit closer for you guys. Oops, wrong way. Hopefully I'm in shot there and you can actually see. Okay, I'm going to clean my brush and we're going to get to the next stage. Okay, this is the uh, fluo green, which is a very wishy-washy green, as you can see by looking at it on the palette. Let's get my sword in position properly. And basically I'm going to go over it again, using the same method now. As you can see it's very weak. A tiny bit there. And that's okay. Okay, now while we're on there now, I'm going to get some dead white. Just put it on the side. It's still wet on the sword, you have to be quick at this point. Mix it in with the fluo green. And while it's still a little bit wet, Mix it in. Can you see that, guys? Hopefully, you can. It's uh, harder to do on camera than it is when I'm doing it normally. I don't understand that, but what can you do? a little bit streaky but we'll sort that out in a minute so just clean my brush and we'll go on to the next stage okay and what we're going to do now is we're going to work with just a little bit of dead white let's just brush a little bit of that off because I don't want too much at this point at all I generally use my form just to brush it off and basically go over it side to side motions again you really only want a little bit on the edges now it's just enough to highlight it see the effect coming through. Uh, I'm not sure how clear this is on the camera I'm afraid guys because 
as I say, it's on a tripod, it's above me, it's a pain in the arse, I've got to admit. So, there you go. Time to clean my brush, I'll be back. Now what I'm going to do now is just a little bit of the detail work on the sword. I'm using some GW Codex Grey. I'm just getting a little bit on my brush. Hopefully that's in shot and I'm just going to go over the area of the sword. This is the bit where I'll splash. Using the side of the brush just to highlight the that gives me a bit on the blade. Like so. Just put a little bit more paint on that. It'll do. You don't want anything too um, heavy. Hopefully, you can see that. Okay. Time to clean the brush again. Okay. Now I'm going to give it a little bit of a wash with uh, the black green ink game colour. I'm going to need a tiny amount of this and we do need to water it down. So I shall add, just get my brush. I want it really quite weak at this stage. Let's bring it back into shot. Hopefully you can see that. I'm just going to give the whole thing just a run down with the ink it takes away some of the um, brush strokes but you've got to be careful not to put too much on let's blend it a little bit finer now I'll just give this a uh, quick blast with a hairdryer guys ok I'm going to give this uh, edges of this sword a little bit more dead white on it um, because they're not popping out it's got right enough for my liking as you can see I use my thumb a lot and then I'm just going to flick over the edges just around the top edge of the sword for reasons not known to me my hand is shaking like I'm some drugged up drunk probably because I'm trying to do it on camera and I'm going to give it a little bit of more around the top edge of the blade that'll do put that down a second clean your brush because I want to add a little bit more ink let's move the pipe back to centre again Oh my god, everything's in reverse when you're on a camera. Bloody nightmare. Right, back on the ink wash. I'm going to go down towards the back end of the blade again. Darken that down a little bit. Not too much. Just enough to blend in those brush strokes. That's okay. Alright. And now we're going to go for the tricky bit. I'll just run this under the air dryer, guys. Okay, I've switched brushes now. I'm using an uh, army painter brush, which is upside down. Sorry, guys, but you get the meaning. We're going to be using dead white. Um, I've added some water to the brush because it's imperative that this bit is free flowing on your brush and let's see if I can do it in one basically put a tiny bit on there and hopefully you saw that because I'm finding this really difficult to do with a camera over my head and then perhaps maybe down here <laughs> a 
literally have to hold, hold my breath when I'm doing this. Anybody else have that trouble? Or is it just me? Can you see that guys? Hopefully you can. Let's just clean my brush and we'll have another look, see what needs to be done. Okay, I'm going to uh, just run a little bit more of this uh, ink I have on here on the tip of the sword. Because uh, I'm not happy with that bit there. Needs to be a bit more defined. to me but that's essentially it and we'll uh, get the other mini and we'll do a comparison oh wait a minute I've got to add some satin varnish okay I'll put some satin varnish on my palette and I generally just give it a wash over where's it gone Blimey, I can't even see the satin varnish on my palette. There it is. There's the whole thing. There we go. Okay, I'm going to let that dry, and off camera I'm going to paint the other side of the sword, but using my knee and my armrest as I usually do, and we'll see how it comes out, guys, the final thing. Okay, guys, basically what I've done, I've uh, gone off camera. And uh, hang on, where are we? Yeah, this is the one. Repainted that sword that I've just done, uh, holding it how I normally do, and as you can see, it's come out a lot, a lot neater. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my camera off the tripod and see if I can get a, a nice close shot on it. So that's pretty much it, guys. Okay then. So like I say this is the uh, one we started with and this is the one I've just uh, done, I've added a little bit more lines to it and as you can see the uh, blending of the colours down the sword is a lot neater once I went off camera and held them in here a lot steadier than what I can when I'm trying to film while I'm doing it, in fact quite honestly it's a complete pain in the arse trying to do a tutorial guys I hope this has been some help to some of you, even though it's got to be the world's crappiest tutorial, but I tried my best guys and pretty much that's the effect of the power sword, it's almost um, a bit like anime, cartoony type, but I, I really do like it, it's striking on the battlefield, uh, they'll show up quite well. So there you go guys, see you later.